Okay, so the first and most important step in painting these parts is actually uh, actually cleaning them. So what I'm doing, I've got some fairly warm water, and I'm just going to take some regular, this is just regular dish soap. I'm going to pour some of the dish soap in there, and um, I'm really, literally going to wash the part just like I wash dishes. And then you can wash some dishes for your wife while you're at it, that'll make her happy. So I'm just kind of getting that water running, getting the soap in there, and here's my shapeways parts, and I'm literally just going to drop them in there, and um, and just start uh, rinsing them out. I'm going to use a toothbrush. This is just an old toothbrush, and I'm literally going to take each and every part, and I'm going to sit there and scrub at them to get all that loose powder and whatever other oils and that sort of thing are on the parts, because. What I'm doing now is I no longer prime the parts before I uh, put them together. I actually just uh, paint directly on the parts, paint directly on the white, and that seems to get a much nicer green. So that uh, makes it extra important to go through and actually go and scrub all these parts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then once I'm done, I'll show you what's next. Okay, so I've let these parts sit and dry. I rinse them really well. That's the most important part. I rinse them with uh, warm water and then I let them sit and dry for a long period of time and now I'm ready to get painting. So let's go back to what you actually need to get this done. So here's the most important color. This is uh, Tamiya, I think that's how you say it, X15 light green. And you can see right out of the bottle it's actually reasonably close to Devastator's color. And then the other thing I have is this is just Tester's white. This is acrylic, it's important these are all acrylic. Tester's yellow and testers gold. So these uh, three testers colors, I just got them in this uh, testers kit. I mean, you can get this at uh, your regular uh, store like Walmart or whatever, wherever you can, in the model section, you can find that quite easily. So I highly recommend using that paint. It's um, easy to work with. And uh, I always make sure I stir the paints really, really well. And now I'm gonna start with uh, the actual mixture. So. It's 15 parts Tamiya green to begin with. So one, two, three, four, it's probably painful to watch, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good enough. There. And then it's 10 parts of this gold. So 1, 2, see I'm just letting the drops do the count. 4, 5, 6. Sometimes you can see the paint. It's important that it's stirred well. There we go. And then it's uh, actually three of the yellow. So one, two, three. That one's all done. And just one drop of the white. And this white is really thick. And uh, we want to make sure I don't put too much in. I'm not sure why this is so thick. I probably need some thinner. There we go. And that's all done. And then the next thing I do, you can see it, it's just sitting in the bottom there. I just take some water and I'm going to I'm actually just going to pour a little tiny bit of water in. Just a little tiny bit. There we go. And you can see it's really, really watery. And this is important because uh, we want to spread it really, really thin over the parts to begin with to get the color. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a light wash with this. And uh, when I'm done, I'll, uh, I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see um, to begin with, the, it's not the exact match and that's okay because we're going to tweak a little bit as we go and you can also see it's extremely thin and watery and I don't have to worry too much about uh, getting this nicely on the part I just kind of um, draw the paint out really really thin see it's got a little bit of uh, air in it it's not a problem because it's so thin and it dries really really nice the, the thing is you just want to make sure that you evenly coat the part you don't want a portion where there's a, a whole bunch of buildup, like see that edge there? I want to make sure that I smooth that out. So again, just long, thin strokes, draw it out across, and you can see I'm basically just washing the part in color. And 
I'm going to be doing this to basically every single part. It takes uh, a long time because you're doing it in such thin coats. But this is what really helps you get the color match because you do it in steps. You don't do it in one step, you do it in several steps and you build it up as you go. And I guess maybe my paints, the, the, the thickness was off a little bit. Maybe I had just a little bit too yellow. You can see I'm off. That is the correct formula, but I was kind of rushing as I mixed it. So um, you just have to maybe tweak a little bit. And if it looks like it's going to, this is looking a little bit too mossy, then you may have to tweak as you go. But that's not a problem because you're doing it in such thin coats. You can, um, and it, it's better to do it light than dark, by the way. So uh, it's fine to, um, to be off a little bit on the color. So I'm almost done this part. You can just see I'm kind of getting in the corners and drawing it out. It's really important the parts were clean first so you can see the paint adheres well. I want to make sure I get a coat everywhere. And you can see in that those places I literally just put tons in there and then just smooth it out. Um, again, it's really forgiving because it's watery and thin. And uh, we're getting there. So that's starting to become Hercules green. So uh, I'll continue with the rest of the parts and show you how it starts to progress. So as you can see, I've actually put a light coat on all these parts here. Um, they've just had a thin coat applied and I've just done my mixture. I had to tune my mixture a little bit because the brand new X15 is thinner than my original bottle that I was working with. So I've actually got 25 parts of the green. Um, in there instead and I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of water and you can see there the colors looking really really good and once again I'm just going to go back through each and every part and uh, I'll give a I'll show a different part this time around I'm just going to show the missile and just show you what it's like to apply the paint so again you can see with it thin like that with it's so watery I just go right over top and you can almost uh, it, it's hard to tell the second coat but you want to make sure you cover everything and it's going to um, make the color look more like plastic over time if you keep thickening it up. So you can see I draw it across and I try to get the bubbles out and it's making a really, really nice green. So second coat, I'm going to do every single part here, give it a thin second coat and then we'll uh, see what it looks like in the next step. Okay, so now I've got two coats on every single part and the next step is the trickier step which is actually darkening the parts so that they better match. So what I'm gonna do here, you can see this is the same mixture I've always been using and what I do is um, I'm just gonna gently apply that to that mixture and thin it out. Whoops. But then what I do to darken it is I actually take the exact green, so I've just poured some right from the bottle in here, and then I'm going to pull that across and mix it in. And this will quickly darken the part to almost the exact color. So again, I'm going to just put some of that there, and then take the exact color and pull it across and thin it out. So this will get it uh, very, very close to the Hercules green. By doing this and, and you probably want to have a part on hand for reference to check the match um, to make sure that you get it right and again you're gonna darken every single part so here I'm just gonna check my reference part got one here I'm trying to match this part so there we go you can see how much greener that is so again I'm gonna take some of this Put it in there, and you can see how close that actually gets the exact green. So I'm going to do this for every single part, and then we should be closer. So I just wanted to take a moment and show everyone the results. So I did one more darkening coat to get the green a little darker, and then I did one additional uh, coat of the original formulation, that sort of very thin, clear, light coat, and put it on top of the parts. It just touched up in places, and this is what I ended up with. So you've actually got a really good match. Uh, let's just take our reference part here, bring it over to Hercules. You can see some parts already installed on there. And it's a, it's a good match. There's the shoulder cover. Neckbreaker's got a shoulder, uh, he's actually got a little face cover in there. Um, we can see down here there's the, the plates and the wideners and the thigh missiles. So all sorts of parts that need to be painted green and they all match fairly well thanks to this uh, green formula. So basically anybody could do this. I definitely recommend giving it a try. It's really fun. Good luck.